Jiugu. Green Jiugu glass. Sloan's liniment. Sloan's liniment. There's a perfume bottle with the lid still attached. It's quite pretty. I don't know what that is. I don't know! Mudlarks in these circumstances before, and you probably can't hear me anyway. But hey, oh, well, look, there's a bead. And a cannon. <laughs> oh my goodness! It still goes up and down. That's amazing! <laughs> little lead cannon. Mum's little lead cannon. I think this will be a broken. Button, cabochon, or bead. End of a hat pin, actually. I found a metal patch. Oh, I see something round. Oh, there you go. Bag seal. Small lead bag seal. if it's melted glass or metal but it says good good two more round things so imagine oh that is a very heavy button that is a very heavy button and then i think this is a bag seal it says on it first one of the day oh and it's broken Actually, it might just be a cabochon. A little turquoise cabochon. So there's another, probably a lid that's got something written on it. And then I see this down here. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me zoom in. It's a little button, but it's so swirly. It's beautiful. What else is here? still have bovril in it. Is it bovril? Yeah. Yeah. It's original. Yeah. That's medicine. 
That's really cool. Yeah, I like that. That's William. One X. It's okay, that's really cool. It's got the cork in it. Could be a coin. Bit of fool's teeth. I won't be taking that. <laughs> Speed. In the rain. It's increasingly difficult to film, but there's a tiny red feed that may blow away. Two beats. Do I need a trowel? Beautiful bead. That's a beautiful bead. 1920s. Look at that bead. It's like a donut. And then there's this beautiful piece of china that's just got two pigeons on a fe on a on a fence or a bridge. That's really nice, but it's so windy. I think it might be a, a damaged lens, but it's turned lilac. Wow. Yeah, it's smooth on that end. So I, I, I can only imagine it's a really damaged lens. But it's been left in the sun. That's beautiful. A lilac lens. such a shame it's broken because it's so wonderfully frosted. Tiny little frosted bottle. It's going to be a beautiful mother of pearl button. Yes. Beautiful. And look, right next to that beautiful button. Have I ever found a green stopper? I'm not sure if I have ever found a green stopper. That is such a beautiful bottle stop. It's frosted too. Wow. I'm trying to think. I think this might be our first green. Oh, Mum's Mum found that big one. Field walking. This might. Well, this is definitely my first green one. I think. It's so windy. We 
find blue and white all the time, but that's quite an unusual piece. Is it like, was it like a, a plaque? Or is that like a, a handle? It's completely flat on that side. I'll have to ask mum. It looks like something to hang on the wall. But it's beautiful and it's just waiting to be made into something. Sorry for the lack of pretty shots in this film, but if the conditions are, I wonder if you can even hear me, the conditions are a lot. Vulcanite, Bulmer's cider, broken though. Looks like a sneaky bead down there. Oh, beautiful. Verdant green. That's a brilliant bead. Half a bead or broken hat pin. A oh, broken hat pin. Beautiful so for a necklace though, it's such a bright colour. Just found this beautiful green cane bead. Beautiful little star bead. Beautiful. That's a beautiful bead. Look at that. That is beautiful. Looks like an abalone shell button. Wow, that is beautiful. It's so very iridescent and chunky too. That could be a, a button or a bead. <gasps> My goodness, that is a Czech glass charm or bead. I think it's probably a charm. It doesn't have a hole through it. Of a little moon face. It's broken, but let me show you. Look at it. Oh my word, that is so amazing. So we've got my nails. It's such a shame he is broken but he's still got his face. <gasps> this was on mine and mum's check glass <laughs> bucket list items. We'd seen the little moon faces. Mum tried to buy one on eBay, but it uh, went for quite a lot of money. <laughs> but <laughs> it's, <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I can't wait to show mum. So my thing is broken, but it's something we talked about. Oh. You've got a bowl full of food! <laughs> <laughs> Could you eat any more? <laughs> it's like a little figure! It's got a hole in the bottom. It's a figure, isn't it? It's a little person. That's, that's like a... 
Native American. What is it? Oh, it looks good like, like a pharaoh. Figure. It's a little figure. That's it there, okay. yeah. <laughs> I need a sticky thing. Is that too big? Yeah. Teapot. <laughs> I think you need to stuff it to see. Yeah. It's got a big belly there. Yeah, you can't really tell. No. Oh yeah, so his legs probably go on those bits. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to stuff oh, it now. Webby scarf. That's what we want. Put it on the style. I mean, his belly's not in the centre. We've got a tiny little black button that we're going to use as his nose. <laughs> and then 
the eyes. <laughs> so this is the one I found on the beach that's in this video. Like there. Yeah. Is that on the side that his head leaning because it's yes. the bigger eye? <laughs> One it would look guy. so much better if they both were like that. I know, but that's, that's the beauty of mudlarking and the beauty of what we do. So then, like there. I can't really see the shadow. Uh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Hello. So that was our trip to Treasure Beach and um, I don't know if you could tell but the weather conditions were <laughs> intense um, that day it was incredibly windy and then the rain started so we weren't actually there for that long because we had um, a dog with us and it wasn't very fun for her and yeah, we but even in that short window we found some really really wonderful yeah, things unusual things mm -hmm. uh, what was your best find um, I think we all can guess what my favorite find of the day was and it was, I've still got blue on my fingers for making this grow. <laughs> was this little moon face charm. I think it's very beautiful. It, it, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And as I said in the film, we have seen these before. They're usually clear. It could be a Niger Brothers. They did do moons. So yeah, this may, there's a picture on the screen here of um, an example and I didn't realize on the day because I was just so excited about what was on the front of him but on the back once I looked at some complete examples online I noticed that yes on the back unfortunately because he's broken it's not complete but it has it has a crescent moon face a man in the moon crescent with two stars it's such a shame it's such a shame that it's broken but it's absolutely beautiful and yeah I'm in love with it. But it's going to make it, you're going to make something really nice out of that jewelry. I jury think wise. I think so. For 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 me. Yeah, for you, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It's such a shame it's broken, but I didn't ever think. Even though on this beach we've been very lucky and fortunate to find quite a few Niger Brothers. I mean, pieces. well, they they are attributed to Niger Brothers, so I don't know. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I never can like um, thought that we'd find a moon. No. Oh, you know, I, th I thought that the scarab beetle was the best we were going to ever find. I know we found a bit of the broken pharaoh, but this is this just want to go back barely broken. <laughs> I know, I want to go, because they have some, they, they're some beautiful, there's like owl beads and charms and different glass animals. And yeah, yeah, we do want to go back very soon because we just love that beach. We just love that beach because we just love finding tiny things. And I think this is probably... The best, best tiny the best beach for tiny things for the sort of things we like. Little figural tiny things are our favourite things. So we're never gonna find a pipe on that beach, but this this is the beach for tiny, figural, beautiful, colourful things. So what's your favourite find? Talking of it's figural. Yeah, it's well it's the three. I'm like almost like equally. So I don't I'm probably going to go the Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Yeah, because, well, yeah, here you hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's definitely an eye. I think it probably would have come off 1920s to stuffed animal. I think Not so. Not necessarily a bear, maybe a. I'm trying to think of things of that era. Maybe a dog? Probably a dog's eye. Probably. In the pictures we saw, we looked at, we researched, didn't we? We yeah. saw some pictures of dogs with eyes like this. But I'm not sure if. If you know, we incorporate into another teddy, <laughs> it might be just too much. <laughs> but I'm 
I've never seen another, I've never seen anyone find an eye like that. I didn't know they made. I presumed they were all plastic eyes like mm -hmm. that. Googly eye, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. a but, but it doesn't have any fitting, it's just flat at the back. I don't know. Yeah, how so it would have been just glued. glued That's on, yeah. Oh, yes. But I was just staring up at me. I do like an eye. Do like an eye. <laughs> and then there's my little hmm. little person. And we we put the picture of this up. It looks like it's double sided actually. It looks like it's a person on both sides. Um we we put it up on Instagram to so ask if anybody would recognise it or guess. Um, we yeah. had a lot of Marys, didn't we? Yeah, the overriding consensus was that it was Virgin Mary. Someone did say it was a goddess. A goddess. Someone said it was a potato. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm not sure we'll ever know. If anyone um, recognises it, please let us know. It's such a shame. It's got a little hole in the bottom, and I suggested that was so it didn't explode during firing. But someone on Instagram said it something this small wouldn't have. So, and it, it, it was glazed at the top. top. Yeah, it's got some glaze left over. So yeah, absolutely no idea. No, it's cute though. It's cute, and it, but it is a shame that it's not. It can go in the doll's house as a. Oh, it can go in the doll's house week. or as a doll, like a little swaddled baby doll. Ah, oh, I can make it another acorn thing. Oh, or something. Well, no, I was oh, no, as in like a a walnut thing. I, I was I was considering it as in like a doll for one of our dolls. Oh yeah. Yeah, like one of the child dolls. And what was the third thing? My cannon. Your cannon. <laughs> I've never found a lead cannon before. It's no. always soldiers, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or horses or animals, but this is a little. And it um, actually works. It still moves. The uh. Again, you go in the doll's house. Yeah, with the little boys playing with it. I've just noticed. It's giant though. But the microphone is facing the wrong way, so uh. let's quickly fix that. So the sound should be better now. So, what's your second best find? Mm. Mm. Um, probably. Yeah, my, I thought. <laughs> my little frosted green bottle stop. It's such a wonderful emerald it's green. Good green. It's a good green. It looks like it's. A gum it like a sweet. Do you want to get my other green one? Yeah. <laughs> it really looks like a sweet. It's so very. Having said that though. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. No, it's not. I think this was filmed after. After that one. Yeah. That one. So I take it back. I've, we've actually found green, three green stoppers, but they're all completely different colours. They're beautiful. So this is the one Mum found field walking, which I think is probably the most beautiful. It's a bit of a deeper green. I think that one is beautiful and it's got a lovely bubble inside. And then this is the dark olive green one that I found at our favourite beach, which is just like a normal bottle stop. Which I think is actually rarer because it is just Yeah, a it is rarer, yeah. yeah. And then the latest one, which is a very funky shape, and it's such a beautiful colour. It's, it's 1920s again, isn't it? Art Deco. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably from perfume. Mm -hmm. oh, it really looks like a sweet. It's nice. It's made it's out cool of jelly. Colour. Yeah, I like that a lot, and I'm sure we'll find a little bottle that that will fit into. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> the, uh, the cotton reel ink that Mum found. It's tiny. It is tiny. I mean, I know we've got lots of cockroaches, but it is a little tiny, weeny one. Mm hmm What was your favourite bead? Hmm. I think the little blue flower. Again, which could be a Niger Brothers. Niger Brothers are usually um, opaque, aren't they? They're not clear. Yeah. And very highly detailed, which that mm -hmm. is. If it's not, it's check glass. I mean, I think the majority of the detailed ones we find a check glass like this one because it's like 1920s isn't yeah. it and they are all but it gives me hope that one day we'll be able to find some of those little animals we oh like oh my gosh i really hope so. <laughs> <laughs> like we have them um... oh what the cracker jack charms yeah 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 
So yeah, this one is 1920s, but because it's clear, it makes us think that it might not be. I think they probably did have a few clear ones, but mostly I mean, the they design were like... Look, they had, did have some that mm -hmm. looked like that. So like this tiny one, I I, pro I think is most likely a Niagara Brothers. It would have been one of the beads that was in between the decorative beads, like this one, and look, it's a very similar colour. So yeah, and, yeah. Um, any other ones that we think might be nice? No, but that one's no. crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is the end of a hat pin. Oh, is it? This. Well, this, I think this is the end of a hat pin too, possibly. Oh, yeah. So we've got this beautiful wave one, which is definitely the end of a hat pin, because it's got the hole we at really the bottom. We really need to fix the hat pins, don't we? We do. Some we've got some. Viewer, yeah. well, we might need even more ends, because we've got... But they and look amazing. You think this one is also the end of a hat pin. Oh, what's it say? Or does it say something? <gasps> it says Japan. Oh, what's that then? Oh. Maybe it's not the end of a hat pin. No. And this I didn't know what I see. Like, <laughs> I, I had my glasses on, but it was okay. very windy. So this says <laughs> Japan, so we might have to quickly try and figure out what this is, do some research. So 1920s Japan. Glass. It's beautiful though. It's swirly, isn't it? It is swirly. Look, again, looks like a sweet. They all look like sweets. <laughs> I love the glass. <laughs> So let's leave a little break here <laughs> to see if we find anything. Another beautiful big green bead. Almost looks like faux jade. And um, that one's nice. Oh, this one is beautiful. That was. Oh, I said the other one was a favourite. I quite like that one too. <laughs> I just love the beads. I like. I think I like the nineteen twenties. I think I like the the design and the colours. Yeah, because all of our other beads, you know, you find a lot of like blue beads and clay beads, but the beads from the nineteen twenties, what was after the, the first, war, world, the first war. world war, so they were all just like, right, let's wear as much colour and, shape and, and shapes yeah. and as, pos as we possibly can, and this big frosted red one. They just, oh, they just all look like Well, sweets. and the stoppers as well, the deco stoppers mm -hmm. and stuff. And yeah, I think that's another reason why I like that bead so much. Like well, that's like a donut the bead. The donut bead. And lots of white beads. This one's a wound bead, though. A clay bead after me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> um, like a uh, faceted clear one. Tiny, tiny little red one with a little like indent in it. Now the white one. Who's done showing the blue one? Oh and yeah, the green one. Tiny. <laughs> so many buttons. Oh. oh what's that? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I think it's just damage. It looked um. like it had some. I mean, there's. It's a tiny little blue bead, <laughs> and. Cabochon or a bead, tiny little opaque white cabochon, <laughs> um, little green glass cane bead. Oh, that's not a cabochon. This is a broken blue bead. And is this a bead? I've never known whether. I mean, I think it is a bead. Yes, from one of those long nineteen twenties necklaces. But but people have called them bugle beads, but we've always called them cane beads. I don't know. Oh, maybe they're called bugle beads. Maybe. With buttons. Buttons. With buttons. Beads. I think that's all the beads. Um, so this really beautiful frosted opaque white bead with really beautiful little like circle design on it. Which is lovely. That's the typical Art Deco. My little metal swirly design button with some stripes on it. Uh, my big, I called it an abalone shell. Is that how you say it? Abalone? Abalone. Abalone. I'll write it on the screen. <laughs> um, shell, some mother of pearl ones. That's the a skirt. Hem weight, weight dress hem weight. Uh, a lead seal, a uh, lead bag seal, which is just plain. Chandelier drop. 
I thought it was bigger than that. <laughs> it's tiny. I like my piece of pottery with the doves on it. It was the only, one, the only piece I picked up. Oh no, there must have been. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, those two little doves sitting on the fence. <laughs> it's adorable. So I did pick up the Willow Pattern keyhole cover, but it's already upstairs, along with the piece of metal that says good. And I've used some of the pieces that I found in my deconstructed Willow plate. <laughs> yes. Um, found this, which we think is a tile. I think it says something. I really need it to does. get new glasses. It's, it says, it's like carved in, um, 8.25. That makes me think that that's probably a sample, like a salesman sample of glass. <gasps> sample glass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, it's <gasps> You're smelling him. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Careful. No, don't sit. No. Yep. Yeah. Oh. No, perfect, yep. Yeah. That's okay, you're not in it anymore. <laughs> um, you just sit there, you sit there. Um, sample glass. <gasps> That's cool. That's oh. <coughs> so yeah, look, it's a piece of sample glass and someone has hand carved 825 into it. <gasps> so I wonder what, sample glass for what? I don't know. It's a beautiful colour. It is beautiful when it's like patterned. Yeah. That's why it's in such a perfect shape. Stained glass. Could be stained glass. No. Oh. It's okay. Ah. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> <sighs> That's why it's in such a perfect cut shape because it's sample glass. Yeah, it could have been in a sample book or something, or, or just in a box maybe. Lots of different colours. It could be stained glass sample, I reckon. That is so cool. Well, that is a hundred year old. Handwriting again. Yeah. Oh yeah, someone must have scratched it. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely had. It's a very cursive, pretty handwriting. It's a very fancy eight. That's so cool. So do you think... Oh, that's absolutely amazing. Okay, that makes that... Extra special. Uh, yes, what, possibly one of my favourite finds of the day then, yeah. I only picked it up because it was pretty and square. Yeah, that's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> uh, talking about glass, I have my lavender lens, probably from a torch, 1920s torch, and it's been left in the sun to turn into magnesium glass, Mag Mag manganese, manganese. Glass. <laughs> manganese glass, which has made it lilac, which is so cool, it's such a beautiful colour, it's obviously quite damaged. If they can hear this above the, <laughs> the cat purring. Um, looks funny. Hello. Yeah, that's beautiful. Would you like me to move this over so you can sit down? Mm. And there you go. <laughs> um, that might be it. I think that might be. Oh, and your broken, unfortunate marble. broken piece of marble, which I'm sure will come in handy for craft. Yeah. I think that is it. Mm. was a real squirrel you'd be far more interested. So um, this is our little squirrel craft. So yeah in the comments down below if you can think of a name for our... <laughs> he looks a little bit like the, the sloth from Ice Age. He does but he's a squirrel. Yeah. So a bit undervingly we're not actually sure what film, film is coming up next week. No. Something that we make this week. <laughs> We're a bit behind, aren't we? We are a little bit behind. It's because it's just raining all the time. Just. And like the storm and, yeah. The weather has not been good, so it's pretty difficult to... Because lots of places, we found lots of places we want to check out, but it's all around water and the, yeah. the, the just flooded. The streams <laughs> and the tides haven't been with us either, no. have they? And, yeah. So, um, 
we'll find out <laughs> yes, <laughs> similar to when you'll find out. <laughs> so we'll see you then. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. We hope you have a good rest of the week. We just have to say a massive thank you to all of our wonderful Patreons, all of our Kofi donors. <laughs> All of our wonderful Kofi donors, everyone that likes, comments and subscribes. We have to thank you because we've hit 11,000, which is very exciting. Um, yeah, just thank you for everything you do, we appreciate it a lot. Sunny does too. Mm -hmm. So, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see you... We'll see you next week. Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>